In what follows, I would like to illustrate how we can use JUnit for testing. I have defined a class distance converter with several methods. It has methods such as convert feet to meters, convert meters to feet, etc. Note that it does not have a main method, so we cannot execute it as such and test it. What we will do instead is we go to our package explorer, right click the class name and select new JUnit test case. We will create a new class distance converter test. This is a class which will be used to test our distance converter class. I click next and here I can select the methods that I wish to test. And the method that I wish to test is let's say convert feet to meters. I click finish. Now you see that a new class distance converter test has been created. You can also see that the necessary package to allow for the testing has been imported. This is an annotation at test. It tells Java that the method that comes up, which is in this case test convert feet to meters, is a method that will be used to test another method. So we start by defining our variables. Let's say double feet and meters. And now we will do the testing. So we know up front that one feet equals 0 0.3048 meters. So let's test whether this is indeed the outcome of our method. Okay, so we call the method. And now we need to see whether the result we get, meters, is equal to what we would expect, which is 0 0.3048. So we can do that by calling the method assert equals meters and then see where it's equal to 3048. We can also specify the level of precision and the level of precision that we wish to work at is let's say 0 0.001. Okay, so we can now run this class. So we run it. Okay, and we see that everything as, is as expected. So this means that the test was successful. Now let's enter an error, a deliberate error. So I go back to the method in my original class, distance converter. And let's say when entering the value right here, we made a typo. So we switched the numbers three and zero. Now the, met, the method is no longer correct. So we go back to our distance converter class and run it. Right now you can look at the failure trace. You can see that the color here became red and in the failure trace you can see that we expected 0 0.0348 but it was 0 0.3048, right? So now we know that something went wrong. We can go back to our original method and then correct the error. We run it again and now everything is fine. So this illustrated how we can use JUnit to test a particular class and obviously you can also test your other methods. This finishes this demonstration.